With this workflow, you'll be able to quickly find duplicate information in your Google spreadsheets so that you can remove extra clients who are already up there, extra products that you might have. Either way, whatever the use case that you have, this workflow will allow you to find that data quickly so that you can clean up your information. All right, now let me go ahead and show you how this thing works really quick. I've got some information here. Now, I need to show, explain something about this with this workflow. Because of the way it is set up, because I don't know what column you're gonna be finding, what information that you're pulling from, which sheet you're pulling from and all of that. I built this to be a general purpose bot that you can customize yourself or change however you need to. So what I have here is two spreadsheets. I have one spreadsheet with two tabs on it, okay? So I have the full data of a client, you know, just a, a lead gen list that I had. I have a Google Maps scraper. I pulled all kinds of information for plumbers and here, I'll come over here. So I got plumbers and electricians and landscapers and all of that. All right, I then go ahead and just kind of removed all of this extra data that was on the side here. And the reason for it is this workflow is looking for any duplicate information in your sheet, any at all, all right? If there's anything, any row that has the same information as another row in it, uh, then it's gonna find it. So in this case, um, it's gonna find the word plumber, it's gonna find the word electrician, it's gonna find landscaper, because of the fact that it's finding any duplicate at all. So I have two versions of this I'm gonna run. The first, it's gonna show you, if I'm gonna, it's gonna pull everything. And the second, it's only gonna pull based on the, uh, the company name here, or if they have the same website, probably because it was the same company name. Okay, let's go ahead and let it run and I'll show you what's happening here. So what is happening is it's pulling from Google Drive. And in this case, it's just, you know, whatever it was most recently put into my folder here. It's extracting out the sheet ID numbers, okay? So for each sheet tab in your spreadsheet, it comes equipped with a sheet ID number. And I don't know if it pops up here. Yeah, so up here, you see this number here, and then if I come to this tab, it's this number here. So every tab in your Google Sheets document comes with a sheet ID. And because I don't know which one you need to pull, I just have it pull them all, all right? It's gonna then pull those IDs out and um, by querying Google, it's gonna grab the IDs and it's gonna run each of them through this process. Now, you may have watched some of my other videos where I showed you this, I, I gave away this workflow on how to be able to pull out different sheet IDs and to be able to pull the information out of them. I just combined this with another workflow I had, which is uh, creating columns in Google Sheets. All right, and so what we're doing is we're running each sheet through this process where we're going to pull out the headers for, or the column headings for that sheet. We're gonna create a new document with those column headings. So instead of just updating the document that you're inputting, we're gonna go ahead and create a new document with the title for the Google Sheet tab that we are making, um, we're processing the data on. We're gonna create a new document with that name here. So here we have full data and edited data. It just it should have just finished. Um, and so if we check out my, my sheet here, you know, full data, edited data. All right, it went through, created those documents with the appropriate column heading. So it's gonna match up the data that it's processing. It then goes and pulls the sheet one more time and finds the duplicates, all right? And again, it's gonna find any row that has any duplicate anywhere in the columns. It's then going to put those duplicates into the documents it just made. So if we come over here, here we have my full data. And if I come down and I'll show you, I have 2,152 rows. So let's check out full data. And you'll notice, it looks identical because it mostly is. And in this case, it, it sorted by column first. So you'll see that it, it sorted and found accurate Baker uh, Ellum first. I'll come over here to my original data. We have accurate Baker Ellum, it was somewhere down here. So it sorted this column first and then it went and sorted other columns. So that's why it organized it in this way. If I get past, you'll see that we don't really have any other um, duplicates. But if I come down, we should have 2152, the exact number that I started with. And the reason for it was because of these columns over here. These columns had uh, information that was consistent across the various different items in it. 
So I, what I did is I created another one, uh, I'll come over here, so edited data, where I removed those extra columns. And so now I'm looking, it's gonna only find based on the information that's in here. Um, and if we come over and we open up edited data, we'll see we only have 100 items that were duplicate. So now, now this is important, all right? You'll see we have Accurate Baker Ellum has different phone numbers, technically has different websites. And so are they different companies? Are they different contacts? Here we have ANL Plumbing, Heating, and AC Repair. They have different phone numbers. They have different websites. I didn't want to just remove that information because, you know, what if you wanted both of that, those pieces of data? I didn't quite know what I could do for you. So this duplicate finder, it finds the duplicates for you. That's what it does. And it'll put out all that information into a spreadsheet. Now you can go in, you can grab the ID or grab the name, go back to your original spreadsheet, control find to be able to find those duplicates to, so that you can go ahead and clean up that data. Now, this workflow is available for free in my free school community. Just click the link in the description below to go get it. And I'll tell you what, I did you one better. I actually made a more advanced version of this workflow that has full Slack integration. So you'll be able to upload your documents into Slack, tell it by text or voice what you want it to be searching on, which column you want it to sort by, as well as it is able to find duplicates or it's gonna be able to remove the duplicates from your document, all right? Now it's not gonna, like I said, it's not gonna remove it from your document. It's still gonna create a new document but it's going to create that document with the duplicates removed or with the function I just showed you to be able to identify it. This workflow is available in my advanced community. Really cool, tons of advanced workflows over there. Not, lots of kind of advanced versions of what I've put out as well, some really cool stuff coming up that I'm not even gonna tell you about. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. It really does help get this information out there to those who need it. As always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.